my god. There's more. They did more than one. Okay. Ooh. This is so offensive. This is offensive. Hey guys, Jessica here. How's it going? How's everybody? How's the family? <laughs> Today, we are going to be looking at a controversial America's Next Top Model episode. There have been quite a few, but I think this one is supposed to be one of the most controversial ones. I don't, I don't know. I just found it on Reddit. We're going to take a look. Uh, I, apparently, the girls transform into different ethnicities. Can't be good. As an Arab, I, I don't know. Mm, my ancestors are quaking. Let's let's just see what they... Maybe it's not that bad, right? Or maybe it is. We're just we're going to see. Check it out. So I got it pulled up here. Let's go. You guys all excited today? You got energy? I wish I could say the same. I haven't had energy since 2018. <laughs> we are actually going to switch your ethnicities. I think it's just going to go downhill from here. If you need an Arab girl on the show, I'll I'll do it. You don't have to pay me nothing. Just give me a flight, a Pepsi. The challenge here really is taking on the persona of that other ethnicity while in the photograph and owning it. Okay, this premise is, l let's be honest here, that's absolutely terrible. To, to, to the challenge, it's a, the challenge is to take on somebody's ethnicity. <laughs> I just, I can't see this going okay. If you, I feel like if you want to do a photo shoot with a certain ethnicity, just get that ethnicity. Christina, you're going to be an East Indian. Tiffany, you're going to be Native American. Brittany, an African American woman. <gasps> Kenya. Ooh. <laughs> Kaylin. We're as a blonde. Michelle, an Eskimo woman. Naima's gonna be an Icelandic Scandinavian. Tatiana, a biracial woman. Wow. Yuvi, Swedish milkmaid. Wow. Becca, really dark, tanned, Italian, Sicilian woman. And Noelle, we're making you into a traditionally African woman with a head wrap and everything. Wow. Okay. Those are all terrible ideas. <laughs> Being transformed into a proud African woman for me is definitely an exciting experience. Ooh, okay. They're, okay, they're actually, wow, oh, they're like, oh gosh, they're painting faces. Okay. So, of course, you know, we can't always make it easy, 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 right? Uh, you guys are gonna <gasps> oh my God, this one girl. Oh my god, they, oh gosh, they really, oh, they weren't joking, they're changing people's races on this show. They painted her like, br like very deep brown. I think there's a term for that, but let's just keep going. Ooh. Just when you think it can't get any worse. They bring the kids into it. They bring the children. What did this kid do to you guys that you got to involve him in this? <laughs> Ooh. Oh my God. Okay. Lisa. Yeah. You want, I got to show you this. Come here. Come here. Look at this. <gasps> what? I know. It's from America's Next Top Model. Like the audacity. <laughs> Please don't demonetize me, YouTube. <laughs> Let's just press play. I, sure am. I don't like the idea of this shoot at all. It makes me uncomfortable. Especially, you know, it, it, subjects like race are so sensitive. And even me being a minority and, you know, being ethnic, I, I don't want to... I don't know. It's just very tough to say certain things about this because I don't want to offend anybody. It's not about comfort, it's about the look. I love this kid. It's very challenging and very difficult. He doesn't want to cooperate. Look over there, look, it's a bird. 
<laughs> I love how much that kid does not care. He's like just making faces. He's like, get me out of here. He knows. He knows what's up. He's like, I don't want to be in this episode. <laughs> I don't know. This is just very weird to even look at. I don't even feel right making comments about it, to be honest with you. I was born in Mexico, but now I'm going to be a blonde Swedish girl. I'm happy that I'm actually going to be a person and not a fish or not an alien. I can do this. Are you ready? I'm ready. So she's born in Mexico. So she's Mexican. And now we have this. Okay. We even drink milk. It's 2020. Isn't everything like gluten free, dairy free, right? Do we let herself get a little distracted by the child? Or maybe it was because you guys changed her entire race in a matter of hours. She, w she woke up as a Mexican and now she's Swedish. <laughs> God, I'm gonna start crying. I'm excited, but at the same time, it's gonna be a lot harder. How can I allow myself to be affectionate and have a connection with this child I'm working with when I can't even be at home with my own son? Oh. I don't know about this one because she is biracial, so, but I don't. You guys can let me know what you guys think about this one. The other girls? I'm a black girl with a nose child. Come on. You're did they just say you're a Jackson? Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my god. There's more. They did more than one. Okay. There's more. And that girl in the back too, they just, they're over there just painting everybody's face. No. Oh my god. This poor girl, Brittany, what they did. Oh man. Nope. Brittany, best shoot to date. Really? Really? You think so? I feel like we did get a little out of control. And then we made... This girl is from Hawaii. Why didn't they just have her be Hawaiian, right? Or did they? Bigger than it actually is. So Tatiana, your face is a little up. Wait a second. Wait a second. So they put Tatiana as the biracial girl when just seconds before she, it said she's Hawaii, from Hawaii. And but why didn't they just have Tatiana be the Hawaiian person and the girl who's already biracial be the biracial, right? I just solved. I put the put pieces of the puzzle together for you. It's It would have been so much more successful had they just played up the women's original ethnicity and you know just played it up really made it e exaggerated and very bold i think that would have been so much better Ooh, this is so offensive this is offensive what did they what kind of what shade foundation did they use on her Oh my God. Okay. It's a workout, isn't it? This, in a way, is also reinforcing Italian stereotypes. I don't think Italian women look like this, though. You look off. One, two, three. Yeah, we got it. We got it. What a hot mess. <laughs> what did I just watch? Now that we got through that together, whew, we just we just saw a lot. That was a lot. Let's take a look at the judging, shall we? Let's see these final photos, <laughs> how they turned out. So that's what today's challenge is. You will have three minutes <laughs> to apply a full, fierce night face with absolutely no brushes, no applicators, and no mirror. Are you so they're expecting everybody to fail, basically. Like they're legit setting everybody up for failure. You're telling me three minutes, no brushes, like no applicators, no mirror, and they want them to do a nighttime look? The judges, are they doing this on purpose? You guys can no one else see this? 
I'm seeing that they do this a lot on the show. They give them unrealistic time frames, like just things that they know that they cannot complete and then the girls don't complete them and then they are criticized by the judges. It happens all the time. It's like a reoccurring theme on the show. Let me guess, they're going to criticize all the girls and make fun of them for their their makeup looks. Let's see. Cruella. Oh my god! That's horrible! Right? Can you imagine that walking into a party? It looks more like the sort of morning after makeup. He yeah. took the makeup like a Crayola instead of an actual makeup tool. Alrighty. This is so... I, I hate when they do this. I hate it. They set this up Ugh, i hate this you had a photo shoot where we made you a different ethnicity here is your best shot what is going on in this picture you can't even see most of it is it out of focus wait maybe they're gonna sister you look like a black girl girl like i was cousin. feeling it as oh i loved it so the, okay Okay, let's talk about the picture. The bl it's so blurry, I can't even see. Even with my like negative eight contact prescription, I still can't see anything. <laughs> What's going on? Who took this picture? They had this elaborate setup with the beautiful flowers and the branches and you know, the, they, they brought the poor kids into it and this is, but this is the final product. Disappointing. Girl, no, it doesn't. It looks nothing like that, Tyra. It looks kind of like a, a, a Rand McNally roadmap in the face. Here's your best shot. She was Icelandic. You're one of those girls that who knows where you're from. So it's quite hard to switch your ethnicity. Again, we have this awful blur filter out of nowhere like what is the are, we're, and they're supposed to be advertising the milk mustache the glass of milk i don't even see it do you guys see the milk anywhere yeah. where is it such a beautiful girl this looks like a, a ball photograph rebecca wait where's the milk i gotta find it photography wise these pictures are like the setup is terrible it's like a ten dollar sale at sears like this there's their little studio in like the back room of the sears and there are two backdrops that they use for senior pictures and then like for family pictures you just come in and get the picture and they print it out right then and there in front of you they, they got this random lamp and then they have like the the really nice branches they looked really nice in the when I was watching the photo shoot, I'm like, oh, those are that's gonna be a nice photo with the branches. They don't even show. It, it looks terrible. It looks like a shadow. And then they got like this random like, what is this like a bench, a rug, a rolled up like, it looks like a cinnamon roll before they cut it. I'm, can you tell I'm hungry? It's a car wreck. You know what you did? You did the 1970s cheek when the, the blush went all the way into the hairline, honey. <laughs> She couldn't see. She couldn't see. Give the girl a break, man. They're so annoying. They're over there like making, literally making fun of everyone just as I suspected that they would. You guys set them up just to make fun of them. I don't like that. I don't like that. And honestly, they, they did better than I could have done. Putting on makeup with no mirror in three minutes. Rebecca, was it Ooh, that's gorgeous. Wow, wait. One thing I would have liked is if you didn't smile as much. I would have liked to see you say, Mm. I think you did a great job. You're always saying you're so safe, so... Okay, again, what's with this filter? You can't even see half the picture. Do you guys see that full... Let me show you guys that full body. So they made her Italian. Can any Italians tell us if you guys have seen somebody like this walking around Italy? Because I want to know. Comment down below. Otherwise, the background on this one is actually not that bad. It's way better than the other one. You can actually see the materials that are in the in the background the flowers at least they show a little bit more but again we have this terrible terrible blurry 
like somebody forgot to to switch it off of manual focus and just didn't even bother to even it's you can't even see i can't even see anything i gotta like zoom in real close to see anything and it's so dark and gloomy it's such a harsh shadow i mean it's losing so much of her face and it, i don't think the lighting suits this at all oh gorgeous love Korea, here we come girl this shot is absolutely breathtaking i don't even see a black girl i see an asian woman and that's what this is about about embodying it from the inside mm -hmm. out you nailed this thank you i love how tyra's like i don't even see a black girl i see an asian woman <laughs> This one's not that bad, photography-wise. This concept doesn't really make sense to me. Like, they're all dressed up. They're, they look like they're going out somewhere fancy, but they have a glass. They're just walking around with a glass of milk. It's, it's like walking around a fancy event holding a glass of milk. Would you like a glass of milk, sir? I'll give them one thing. The retouching was done really well in this one. Very clean, very subtle. Wow. Dude, this doesn't even... It just, this looks like like uh they're advertising like halloween costumes or something she's dressed really fancy and then there's random stuff in the background and then she's but she's barefoot and she's holding a glass of milk and then there's a kid draped in like a curtain and then there's like butterflies in the back and there's like a random empty chair and there's like a vase why who who thought of this who was the art director she was half black and half white can we see the close-up on Cher? You guys could have just got... There's another girl who's actually half black, half white. She could have done it. She could have... That's why I just don't get... But what do I know, right? This picture... Okay. This is actually one of the better photos. Photography-wise. Just have to say that. I love the colors, too. This one, I mean, this one looks a little bit more put together. But then you have that... Like, that weird random like garage sale chair in the back can i just say too i don't like how the makeup was done in this i think it really aged the girls like 10 years it makes them look so much older than than they are like they couldn't even like get a nicer backdrop where you don't see the creases i mean this is like a full production that we got here probably millions of dollars put into the show they can't even like uncrease the background sis why if anyone's east indian let us know what you guys think about this I want to know your thoughts. Loki, I was waiting for them to do a Middle Eastern transformation because I was about to be like, mm hmm, tell me more, tell me more. But it didn't happen in this one. They're all like equally bad. It's just, it's the photographer, you guys. It's the photographer and like the light setup and the background. This is so random. It's so random. Just want to pour that milk out. She's looking like a Disney villain on her way to breakfast. And then again, they got the kids wrapped up in random fabric. And then they got that glass of milk. They always have to have the milk. Got milk. The pose is so lost in this dress and, the, you know, the shawl and the wig. And then they have to carry a child. So I'm, I'm not even going to, I'm going to cut them some slack on that. There's not much they could have done. <laughs> about Eskimos and the intensity that that culture has it would have been nice maybe kind of straight on and just kind of right. I just felt the cold I agree it's, it's a horrible picture I could have been so much better no this breaks my heart I why they're I don't like the way that this is going let's see the elimination and who goes home this photo represents okay Tyree we get it yep that was a roller coaster of emotions and also ethnicities. See, see you guys later.